In the ideal and very simple IT project, you implement and test your product in a development environment. Then, once in a while, you release it into the market or so-called production environment. But in the real world, we develop products in multiple environments. Most commonly, we have development environment. That's where all developers in the team work on the code. This environment is rapidly changing because everyone changes the code at will. Then we test the dev environment and promote code to the staging environment. The staging environment is used for a stable version of the code that ideally doesn't contain obvious defects. Therefore, once we put a new piece of functionality to staging, we will only promote selected fixes to this functionality for some time. This way we keep staging environment stable until we develop another big piece of functionality to promote, and we use this version to present to customers and other stakeholders. The production environment is the environment where real end users have direct access to the product. For example, Apple App Store is the production environment for all iOS apps. And again, we promote a stable version of our product that we've thoroughly tested from staging to production. And the main idea is that you make fewer changes as you go to the high environment, so essentially you start bundling them. Also, you control more and more of what changes you make. Ideally, the product's quality improves as you progress through the environments. But there might be even more environments, for example, integration and quality assurance environments. Okay, that's the theory of quality and change management. But now you need to reflect it inside your Jira project. There might be different approaches to representing it in Jira. For example, issues and related code get to the staging environment following the Jira workflow on the board. But to get to the production environment, you group all issues into Jira release and release them as a package. This is a fundamental approach to version control of a software product. It allows you to ensure your new code is tested and won't break your production environment. Moreover, you control what functionality and pieces of code go to production. And finally, you incrementally add new features and capabilities to your product. 